What's up, YouTube? So if you have an iPhone or an iPad that has two-factor authentication for a password, um, if you look at your settings, you'll see if you have two-factor or you might even recognize you getting the code. If you have this, I want to show you guys two methods of how to reset that password. Okay guys, for this method, if you see this on your iPhone or iPad, update Apple ID settings. This is no longer considered a trusted device. Therefore, you can't take this method. Refer to the second method. So on your phone, click on your name, click on password security, and you'll see change password. This only works if it's still signed in and it has reflected the same password, okay? Otherwise, you can go ahead and create that password here. If that doesn't work, you wanna go ahead and open up your Find My iPhone application. Once you open up this right here, this is a secondary method. You can go ahead and click Forgot Password at the very bottom after you enter your Apple ID. Then it's gonna ask you for your iPhone passcode. Enter your passcode in, and there you go. You'll be able to change your password, okay? This is the first method. All right, guys, for the second method, this one right here is if if you see this update Apple ID settings, you need to reset your password and you still have access to your trusted phone number. So the number that was originally set up when you set up your Apple ID for two factor. So when you go into the Find My iPhone application and it tells you the last two digits of the phone number, if you still have that phone number, then this method will apply to you, okay? Now if you change your phone number with the, for like a different carrier, and you never reflected that information within your settings, then I'll have a third method for you guys. But as of right now, this only applies if you still have access to the same phone number. All right, so from here, you're gonna wanna get out of this and go into the Find My iPhone app. You're gonna go ahead and enter your Apple ID and hit Forgot Apple ID Password at the very bottom. For the sake of this, I'm gonna click Forgot Passcode just for the video. But if you know your passcode, you're going to get in sooner. So from here, I blank this out, so bear with me. Just confirm your trusted phone number, and you're going to reset with that phone number. Once you click reset with the phone number, you're going to get a verification code. Um, it should send to you in the form of a text. If you didn't get it, click on didn't get verification code and send that again. All right. So after you guys enter that verification code, it's going to confirm that number, which will send a text message um, when the account is ready for recovery. And I'll get into that later. I'll show you guys. All right, so from right here, once you verify that, it's going to say, okay, ask for your passcode. If you don't know it, then click Start Account Recovery. From here, once you start the account recovery process, um, that's when the time starts. So right now, based off the information I provided, I'm going to click on request recovery it just tells you how to reset your password click on request recovery and then right there you're telling Apple that you've got your password status, inform status information will be available in 24 hours now this is just a request okay so keep in mind it's not going to say your password is ready for reset after you check the status you're going to see it says right now mine says 13 days and when the time's ready it'll be sent a text message with instructions on what to do next and I'll show you guys what that looks like so after the 13 day waiting period everybody's days are different keep in mind this is what the text message will look like it'll say your account is ready to be recovered and from here you'll click on the go to apple.com forward slash recover just click on the blue link and then it'll go ahead and take you where you need to go so once you click on that this is what that looks like you click on it and then from here, it's still pulling out. I'll do that in a minute and it's still load. All right, there we go. Click on that, go ahead and upload. And then it's gonna have trouble signing in. So this is where you enter your Apple ID password, I mean your Apple ID, so the email address. Once you enter the email address, you're gonna go ahead and hit continue. And then once you hit continue, it's gonna send you a verification code. You're gonna enter the verification code in. I just blanked that out, guys. Just in case anybody trying to get that number. 
I'm not trying to get my account hacked. And you'll get a verification code. You're going to enter in the verification code. Once you enter in the verification code, hit continue. Once you hit continue, it's going to show you that another code has been sent. There you go. Get that code. That's the code that you'll receive once you enter your trusted phone number in. Enter in that code here. And then once you hit continue, it's going to allow you to go ahead and create a new password. So keep in mind when you create a password, just make sure it hasn't been the same password that has been used in the last year. Otherwise, it will fail. And then make sure you adhere. See right here, I failed because I used it in the past year. And make sure you meet the minimum requirements. At least eight characters, at least one capital, and one number. Um, you can have all lowercase and just one capital or all capitals, one lowercase, and at least one number. So once you've finally figured out a password that you haven't used already, you can go ahead and get creative with that. If you add a special character to the end of that, it automatically makes it unique, and you can use that in case you're having trouble with password requirements. And then once you obviously meet those requirements, you'll see all the green check marks, and then you go ahead and hit continue. Once you continue until you password change successfully. There you go. Password has been reset. So now you can go into your account. You can finally log back into your damn iPhone and iPad. Um, and I'll show you guys the third method. All right, guys. For method three, this applies if you don't have access to your phone number anymore. You changed it with your carrier. Log into iforgot.apple.com or appleid.com takes you to the same place enter in your apple id which is your email address once you enter that in go ahead and hit continue once you go there it's going to ask you to confirm the old number you have to enter this in order to continue after that you're going to click don't have access to your iphone ipod or ipad and then can't get to another device make sure you click that at the very bottom once you do that, it's going to go ahead and tell you, send you a code. You're going to click don't use this number anymore. This means that you don't have access to that. Once you click on that, it's going to tell you it's going to take longer to reset your password. Go ahead and click continue anyways, and then it's going to prompt you for a new phone number. And this right here is, a, is going to send you the text message when it's time to reset your password to the new number. And then same thing here guys, once you guys do that, you'll get a notification saying that status update will be available in 24 hours. After 24 hours, go back onto iforgot.apple.com, appleid.com, or your Find My iPhone application, and then it's going to tell you how many days it's going to take to reset that. After that, you'll get the text message to the new number you entered. It looks like this. Click on the apple.com forward slash recovery, and then just follow the steps in method one where you reset that. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching.